Well, all right then. Oh, right. If the thing, come on, help me out, please. Thank you. <laughs> they both picked Mala. Um, in the top left corner, playing a mirror matchup again, it is Santa and his opponent on the opposite side of the map, playing Mala as well, is Magical. Now, both these players just played a match together, well, not together, against each other, in which they were both Orzum. So it's just ironic that they both picked the same right, uh, the same character, excuse me, Immortal, uh, twice in a row. Just, just slightly, slightly, uh, slightly funny. We see an earlier natural from Magical, then Santa, but not by much. It seems that they're both doing the same build. Um, but I expect to see potentially some, some, some more cheese out of, out of Santa. Last game, he did a fire singer in the back, uh, and was very annoying for magic call. So annoying so that he GG'd out. So, uh, maybe we'll see something a little, little, little similar but on a different race you could do like a little bit of a proxy or something like that early thrums are always terrifying we see these players once again being annoying to each other as the tower attacks the uh natural base of magical <clears throat> Ooh, an early gas in the third base. Santa sees this. This is this is key. So what this means, I'm sorry, I said gas. Early ether. Ether. Um early ether. This this means that Magical is gonna be looking to spend some tech money. And we do see a neurosite down as well, which which is definitely helpful for the uh, the ground unit upgrades. So basically, he's going to be trying to go in, to go into something ground related. Now, both these players are opening with hunters. What we've noticed a lot uh, with the new meta has been the fact that uh, the Zakals have been buffed by a significant amount, and they've got new upgrade, and they're just generally beefier. And with that, we've seen uh, a lot more use out of them, where players would not even go for hunters, and they would simply just go straight for Zakals. Now, neither of these players are doing that, which surprises me a bit. We also see a blood well here from Santa in this, this position, so it's not very close. Okay, I see what he's doing. So it is going to be some more cheese, some smelly, some stinky cheese, like, like we suspected. Um, and Santa, like we also suspected, is the uh the beginulator of this cheese uh, i believe this is the uh the air unit uh building for the uh, aru tech tree so basically he's going to be trying to get out some early thrums or maybe even behemoths if he's that bold um and we do see a couple of calls from magical and uh Based on his gas count, that's probably what he's going to be teching for. And then we do see he does have that upgrade completed for the Zakals where their, uh, uh, their uh, first attack stacks three times and then it can be used all at once. And then as soon as that is used, their health pool or sorry, their health regen also increases by a lot. So we're going to be seeing some aggression from Magical with these Zakals. But the thing about Zakals is they don't shoot up and there's going to be some air units popping out of this from Santa in no time. But Magical is moving across the map. He wants to use this army that he's created and use it well. Now, there's a tower coming down and some static D from Santa. He knows this attack is coming, but he only has a couple hunters. He doesn't have any Zakals of his own because Zakals cost ether. And he is using all his ether on his air units right now. We see an infuse coming down from Magical. His Zakals are simply jumping on top of the forces of Santa, and there's just not enough hunters here. This, these uh, these Zakals jump on that static defense as well before it can get up. The moats are forced to retreat out of the natural, and Magical doesn't even care about the tower. He's just going for all these units. He wants to get rid of the ether production, and that's great because he knows he's got some thrums in his main. The uh, the Bastion does take out one of the thrums, but th these uh, both of these sides are completely uncontested. There is nothing to stop one or the other from completely annihilating each other. Now, we do see a third base coming down here from Magical. That is going to be key. At the moment, Santa is only on one base. 
And uh, Magical is going to have an economic advantage there. Now, he does go home. He doesn't want to push up the ramp. He definitely could, even with the static defense and the tower here. Um, he really just wants to make sure that Magical, or sorry, Santa isn't trying to expand somewhere else, I believe, and also take down this tower. He also has his own problems to worry about. These thrums have been ravaging his mineral lines. He has no mo uh, symbiotes left in the natural. His main, there are still symbiotes, but I don't suspect for long as the thrums are coming back in. Uh, in terms of how Magical could defend against this, he really just has to hold out until he can get some hunters out. And even then, getting hunters out is going to be really tough because you, you need quite a few of them, especially with this thrum count. There, thrum count, count. there are about eight thrums here, and there's an equal amount of hunters here, but Magical does, is able to push the thrums away while his army in the center is getting that pyre. And this is a very key move right here. Getting these pyre camps is really important because he has the map control right now and he wants to take advantage of that. The fact that he has an army and he can be out on the map, he wants that pyre. He can utilize that pyre well. Now, we do see Santa continuing to make thrums. That is his wild card right now. He doesn't really have anything at home in terms of economy. Uh, he has one base, but one base is not anything matched to Magical's three. So he's really going in all, all in on these thrums. Now, he does kill all the symbiotes in the natural, and that is helpful. And that, that natural uh, that natural base is almost gone as well. We do see a little bit of a scuffle here between the hunters and the thrums, but the thrums can't really at this point take on the hunters. Um, and the thrums just move away towards the uh, third base, where there are a few units, but not quite enough to be able to stop these. So uh, he is going to lose a couple hunters, if not a couple of calls. <clears throat> now, uh, Magical is going to find these uh, this building and the this blood well. As he finds it, though, five more thrums pop out. So he's going to know it's there, but he's not going to be able to do anything about it currently. Now, we do see another engagement here between the hunters and the thrums. And the thrums actually come out on top this time, and I believe that is all of the hunters, all but three. But Magical is moving across the map with them. So these thrums are now completely uncontested. Well, Caster Curse 34. I didn't notice these hunters, which are right here, that have their ability to increase their movement speed. And that is crucial because they're going to be able to chase these thrums away. But thrums doesn't take them far to get to more damage, get more damage in different areas. We're just going to keep these hunters running around. Meanwhile, Magical wants to go for the throat. He wants to end this game. He's taking a lot of damage from these thrums. And well, as I say that, he decides to turn home. Um... It doesn't seem, he may not have seen, it's a possibility that he did not see this is where the thrums were being produced. Um, the Zakal was killed rather quickly, um, and if Magical never looked at his minimap or noticed that the Zakal was being attacked, he may not have realized that that stuff was there, as it does not stay on the minimap, like StarCraft. <clears throat> We still see Magical going for the Pyre, and once again, this is the right move. You want to get up that Pyre bank and use, be able to have the ability to use those abilities later on in the game. Because of the fact that you have that map control, you can really run away with a lead that way. <clears throat> and, well, these Thrums are getting a lot of good damage, um, but it's, it's hard to see them ending the game this way. Um, with the way, with the amount of money that Magical is getting right now, he's only on one base. Even with these thrums attacking and uh, even losing a few here or there, his economy is still not a match for Magical's. Magical has three bases, so unless the thrums were in all three bases, or two of the bases at once, it's not possible for Santa to have an equal economy with Magical at this point. Now, we do see another base that just finished. So that is important, but he's just lost his only. I gotta, I gotta search up the or search up. I gotta figure out the name for this uh, that building, the, the the air unit production building for the Aru. Um, he did lose that, so he cannot. He can no longer make thrums, which is unfortunate. Now we do see a couple of thrums here getting caught out. All of these thrums together could kill all these hunters. Now the thrum count is really scary from Santa. We gotta give it to him. He still does have a chance. He does try to engage into a portion of the hunters here, take some trades. Um, but at this point, Santa really just needs to hold off and and uh, hold off as in try and keep Magical busy. That's exactly what he's trying to do. Whether or not Magical knows about this base, he probably does not. He, he would have moved across the map, I think, at this point, if he knew about the base. But the longer that he doesn't know about this corner base, 
the better it's going to be for Santa. And that's important. <clears throat> this is a pretty scrappy game so far. Um, these are the kind of games you like to see. But this this hunter count is getting scary. The thing about the thrums is they're maneuverable. And they are, uh, they are very... Well, they have the ability to move around a lot. Um, they're very... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're, they're hard to catch, is what I'm trying to say. So they can keep these hunters running around, but... The thrums do not scale well against the hunters. The hunters will eventually beat out the thrums when it comes to numbers. We do see two just calls and two hunters in here. Coming after this natural base that Magical is, or sorry, Santa is trying to rebuild. But we see some Ikers. A bunch of Ikers coming in and um, that's going to be able to clean this up. And that's that's a little bit of a, a little bit unnerving as Magical. You know, you see all these thrums still being produced and you see a bunch of Ikers. You got to be thinking, man, he's got to have a base somewhere else out on the map. You know, you got to be thinking, where is his economy coming from? Now, this is a beautiful blood well right here. Santa... It's, it's secluded, so Magical isn't likely to find it. Um, and it, it's in a really good spot because it's also kind of close to where he wants to be, where he wants to be healing. So we do see the natural base here. Pretty low health. Third base, also really low health. These are two opportune targets as Santa right now. We see all his Icars moving out of the map. He does want to catch up on that pyre production. We see 200 pyre stored up for Magical and only 33 for Santa. <clears throat> I thought Magical was taking a fourth base, but actually he just has us a call over here. There's another blood well over here. Really well-placed blood wells from Santa. He's being very active with his units, and that's really good. This static D makes it hard for him. Uh, he doesn't want to engage into that, but he's being, he's, he's pressuring. He's putting pressure, and that's keeping Magical on his side of the map. And that's honestly what Santa needs right now. Santa needs time to be able to keep this base producing now magical is suspicious like he was saying he notices that there is a lot going on in terms of units as uh for, well, for santa and he has found the hidden base of uh magical has found santa claus's hidden base um it was only a matter of time uh the the there was a lot of resources made off of this base and that's really good um but now there's a t there's a clock on Santa. He has to somehow find a way to either defeat this army or keep it away from that base. Because essentially that base is his entire economy right now. Yes, he's mining in his main, but his ether production is going to be out here in a moment, and his natural base is just getting started. Magical has been on three bases for a very long time, and uh, I don't believe that Santa can afford to lose a base at this point. Now, Magical hasn't quite moved out yet. We do see a couple of acres coming in here trying to look for some damage. He does lose one. And these hunters are going to push up the ramp, but that is not the ramp I'd be pushing up. The thrums don't have a lot of health, though, so the, the hunters are putting in work. There's a couple residents here that do siege up, and they completely annihilate a lot of the hunters. I think that was an even trade. If the residents were not here, that would have gone very bad for Santa, but he did lose a, lose a lot of his thrums, and that was kind of the dominating factor that was going on in this game. We see a lot of Dread Sisters out here for Magical, and that's going to be really helpful. He puts down a couple Siege Maws and tries to engage up this ramp again, but there are a lot of residents, and he does not want to do that. Now, <clears throat> this is a nice position from Santa. He's keeping a fourth base from being made. Um, he does want to be careful about a move out, though, from Magical, and that's exactly what Magical is doing. He does see it with his Teapot. Um, and with these Siege Maws here, it's going to make it difficult for Santa to push into this base. And that's exactly what Magical is hoping for. He wants to move across the map and potentially end the game while holding Santa in this position. <clears throat> so it could turn into a base trade here. We see these units pushing in to Santa Claus's natural. A couple unseized residents, which is rather unfortunate. We also see Santa moving in here with his remaining forces to try and get some damage in here. The static defense is putting in work, but there's nothing here, so uh, eventually these units are going to get through. But there's a lot larger of a force for Magical. He's got double the supply, um, supply uh, number um, of units than Santa. Um, and that's pretty scary. He also has the better economy. So a base trade here is definitely in favor of Magical, and that, that seems to be what's going on. Walking up the ramp, there's a couple residents here, but they weren't sieged up, so they're not going to get be able to get much done. A couple siege mods coming down for Magical as well. On the other side, we do see that third base going down, and we see another base coming down for Santa in the corner of the map. Now this 
is probably uh, a good guess for a magic call to be uh, known at this point. Um, <clears throat> it's not out of the realm of possibility for Santa to try and take another base and that's so nearby it's it's a it's a safe guess from uh magic call that it's probably there so we see the natural gonna go down as well to these resonance they're gonna get pushed away but that's the majority of magical's co economy is gone but all of santa's economy in the main base at least is gone and this is where all of his production has been and that's pretty painful as santa um when your production goes down and you're in a base trade and the other player still has their production it makes things very difficult <clears throat> Thrums are looking for some damage, and yeah, Santa just GG's. He doesn't quite have a chance with this sheer forces and the fact that Magigal still has produ his production. So GG, well done by both players. <clears throat> um, it was a very close game. Uh, I like what I saw. Uh, Santa was being very active. He just couldn't quite break the wall of Magic Call. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> well done.